So you may have seen the recent Octane Hollow Spray glitch which allows you to keep stimming indefinitely. I tested it myself and I did find out that whilst you could continue stimming it wouldn't increase your speed. But then this post came along in the Apex University subreddit and it made me think again. This post supposedly told us that if you timed it perfectly you could actually increase your stim speed. Now we can actually measure this in game with the velocity commands and my first watch made me think maybe it's just an FOV change, but as you can watch, it's quite clearly increasing the player's speed. So I set out on a mission to find out two things. One, is it possible to increase your stim speed with this glitch with a well-timed stim? And two, if it is possible, how far can we take it? How fast can we travel with this glitch? Is there a limit? Could we just go at the speed of light with enough practice? So. We hopped into the firing range, we had the velocity command turned on, and we jumped in. Now, very fittingly, when Octane sprints with the stim, he gets a velocity of 420, which is 140% of the default sprint speed of 299. Octane gets this 40% movement speed only when he's sprinting. So my challenge was to try and figure out when you had to time the stim to increase the speed. And if we saw any slight change in the velocity going higher than 420, then we knew it had worked. And with some practice and preparation, I found the perfect time to do it. Now it did take a lot of practice. Now be warned before we get into this video, you may not want to do this yourself. There are two reasons. One, this is a very big exploit. So there's a chance that your account could get banned. If a dev sees that you're going beyond the speed limit of a normal character, yeah, it's kind of fishy. Secondly, once you get used to this speed, you're not gonna wanna go back. You'll see later in this video. If you timed it just a little too late, what would happen is you'd lose too much speed and the increased speed would feel like nothing. If you did it too soon, the stim would just stop and you'd suddenly lose all of your momentum. The challenging part here is you keep having to stack it over and over again, which means you're gonna have to time it perfectly many times in a row. Either way, with some practice, we did manage to break what I would ever have thought would be the speed limit for a player just by sprinting in the firing range. We're hitting 600 velocity here. That is double the default speed, which is absolutely insane. But it was really hard to control. We had to do quick turns around, which was slowing me down. It made it really difficult. So we needed to go somewhere a bit more fitting for, say, an Octrain. Fortunately, we had exactly the right place. With the train now gone, Octane had big boots to fill if he were ever to assume the role of the true Octrain. So we set out on a course to see how far we could take this bug. And with some practice, we managed to reach the limit. Unfortunately, there seems to be a cap in place and I guess, thankfully, the devs did put some kind of cap in place. You cannot go faster than 972 velocity. Now, that's only triple your default sprint speed, but you can see here, it's a lot faster. So what happens when you pair the sprint speed with some well-timed slides. We all know sliding increases your speed and this actually breaks through the boundaries of that 970 limit. And we can go up to 1,500 velocity when we do this. It is crazy. Now, B-hopping doesn't really increase your speed, but with some well-timed jumps and just kind of spamming W key and left and right as I'm moving, I was able to sort of boost the system in a way to push Octane to go what felt like faster temporarily. It was so hard to time that I couldn't perfect it, but it ended up looking something a bit like this. Now we've been sprinting around at full speed for a long time now, so let's just put a hold to that. It feels slow, right? This is the problem I came across, the game feels so slow now. But that made me think about the whole mechanic of the game. Now, I do not think Octane should be able to go this fast, despite some people thinking it's completely fine. This is way too fast. This is way too fast. But what if Octane could go a little bit faster and if there was some skill-related mechanic involved, a well-skilled Pathfinder grapple can send you miles across the map. Octane has none of that skill gap, which is a bit of a shame. 
What if there were some kind of timing mechanic that was put in the game that allowed you to sort of, let's say each time you stimmed there would be a marker randomly placed on the stim bottle and if you timed it perfectly you would get an increase in stim speed and you could keep going and going and going with the disadvantage of losing more and more health as you do it. Perhaps there would be a max speed cap of say 600 velocity. This would allow you to quickly boost into the next ring if say the ring was chasing you down or to quickly go get a teammate that had been knocked on the other side of the map. Yes, you literally can do that. I obviously think this needs to be patched as quickly as possible. I highly recommend you do not do this on your main account. Honestly, you probably shouldn't do it at all. If you do, just stick to the firing range. As you can see, we have this completely burner account ready to go. I, d I don't know what will happen to it. I'll let you know. There were also some other strange interactions that happened. It turned out that there were speed caps on the zip lines and the jump pad. So when you went on a jump pad or a zip line and you wanted to try and get a boost off of it, it would actually slow you down. And because you were so used to that increased speed, it suddenly felt like you were going in slow motion. It was really, really weird. Another thing is just because you're going so fast, it's really hard to get a feel for it and move around the terrain. Well, you end up just bumping into random objects, sliding into things and trying to get like a good chain of bunny hops ends up proving to be really challenging just because of how the map is laid out. And even with this increased speed, the physics of Apex still remain the same. If you jump off a very large height and try and slide into it, you're just going to lose all of your momentum immediately. What I do like about this mechanic is that it does require skill to time perfectly. And I thought that what if you had a sort of fun event where you could race with other octanes because the thing is with racing with octanes already in the game without this bug everyone just goes at the same speed it's not much of a race but with this you have to time it perfectly it feels like a drag race where they have to shift gears at the perfect time but you're shifting gears with octane stim i don't know it just seems like such a cool mechanic that should actually be adapted and put into the game so respawn if you're watching this yeah, you probably want to fix this bug. I don't think many people are going to do it because it does take a lot of practice and learning and high level patience to be honest to be able to pull this off effectively. But if this was adapted into an actual skill for Octane, that would be awesome. And then it would make me think, can we have a limited time mode like Octane drag racing? Or maybe we could just do it in the firing range. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was just kind of absolutely crazy, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I highly recommend you do not do this in game yourself. If you really, really want to, do have some friends in your lobby and don't attack anybody. Just run around the map. Do not ruin anyone else's fun with this, okay? All right, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all in the comments. Cheerio! Did you know I stream almost every day from 7pm UK time or 11am Pacific Standard Time? You can catch me live right here on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month, get your comments highlighted in videos, get a cool badge in live stream chat, get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos, where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.